We've trimmed the two sides. Now we're going to trim the front. I know it's probably hard, but I typically do everything under this. And I've got to bring it down a little bit more. Sorry. That was beautiful. Now here, here's more of the things that uh, make make doing this very hard. Um, because this will probably stick out a little too far and you're typically going to have to get it most of the way back to the metal. Um, you don't have to do that. If some of this was to stick out beyond the body, it would make no difference. But it's something that I like to do. Because I, I like to have as little of the plastic as I interfering you know I want to I want to be right on the metal with the epoxy it's about all I can trim with there now the back pieces I could use that other cutter but I found personally I'm gonna go in right at the end of the pins and again, be careful because there's those silly wires. Did you have to cut that part? Yes. When I cut this, you can just bend down and break that piece off. And then it's gone. Okay, I remember. I'm like, how did I do that? Okay. That's what it typically does. It snaps like that. And then there's just a little piece. Get it off. Okay. Now we're going to do our first test fit. Um, if it was to fit perfectly at this point, you wouldn't have to do any more trimming or cutting. But... My experiences have told me that it will not fit yet. You're looking at putting this in. Are you sliding it in or you just drop it? I, I try to put it in. There's a little there's a little piece right there that's not allowing me to. See how that piece... The tolerances on the body are pretty tight. Not tight like rubbing tight, but tight where you can't have anything like this there. So always take your time when I don't, I don't normally have a piece like that to deal with, but take your time and uh, yeah, see, I can't even get it in there because if you look down, you'll see just the slightest notches there mm -hmm. and that won't allow it to go in. So I'm going to get a better hold of it. Front to back's not so bad because there's no wires in the way. You just have to worry about the stylus. Back to my magnifying glass. And I just work it a little bit at a time. I don't care about taking off extra because then nothing will be in the way. And I never work back towards this way because, again, there's wires there that could be damaged. Should be good for that side. don't have to worry about the magnet assembly because all this is plastic so nothing will stick to it except for the possibility of the front that's definitely going to be plenty of on the side work okay I lied <laughs> there it goes 
That one's tighter than usual, by the way. Now you, you see, once once you trim that much away, you can actually go in a little bit and in, indent it in there, you know, get it further in. Mm -hmm. But to fit the lead in there, you have to trim that amount uh, back. I'm not ready to put the lead in yet, but what's going to happen is you're going to take your little lead pieces. Okay, so this is the lead, and then uh, you drop it? And drop it in. Once you have your three pieces in the front, okay. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, I have it up just a little bit. Okay, you can probably see those three pieces of lead in there now. You put three in there? Yeah, in the front. Okay. Now, when I push it forward, mm -hmm. the back is is flush. So. Now that now the, everything in the back is flush, when you've done it like that, it is okay to have it stick out a little bit, okay. but it, you know, it won't sonically hurt it. Okay. This is just where I want to be when I'm doing it. I want this as flush as possible. Okay. okay. And so now the, the three pieces are in the front. The reason we did the trimming on the side was to get two pieces on each side. Okay. And we can actually stick those in now. Now, typically anything that you're grabbing lead with, um, it's going to be metal. So be very careful when you get close because there's magnets up in here and it will mm -hmm. pull towards it. So don't do it without hold because if, if I wasn't to hold this, the draw would pull that to this. Okay. So that's why I'm holding it because I don't want it to move around on me. So each body you supply with seven lead shot, right? Correct. Three for the front and two for the sides. Oh, Sometimes size. to get them to drop down all the way and, and get in there properly you might have to wiggle this a little bit mm -hmm. but you you know until you put the tape on the back um, to prevent any leakage of the epoxy you don't have to worry. You can just wiggle things around so that they will fit. very nearly flush very close to flush mm -hmm. and all the work I did sucks mm -hmm. because on this side I didn't cut it quite as far back on this side and this second piece of lead doesn't want to quite fit it's standing up a little bit okay. it wouldn't if you were at this point and you wanted to epoxy it it's fine okay and I'm doing this for somebody, I'm charging them money, and that's and not good enough. Perfect. So out it all comes. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go again. Be very careful again. Okay. That's what's wrong. I wasn't under my microscope. Yeah, it's not a microscope. And if I cut back a little too far, I don't care. Like, you know... Um, I, I don't really want the plastic there. So okay. I just don't really want to fool around too much when you're that close to those wires and pins. So I just try to go in at the end of the pin, make that little snip, and hopefully everything works out right. This time I was a pinch short. That's another way to do it. Sometimes you have to, to get the material off, you have to, you know, actually cut it. But other times you can just scrape the edge to, to get it to okay. get flush. Now this should work better than the last time. There it goes. And the back is out just a little bit so that I can drop that lead in. Because if you push it all the way in, the lead won't fall to the front. And you want the lead between the cartridge and the aluminum, not up high. Uh oh, there we go again. Oops. Now I'm all fumble fingers.
that piece of lead was bigger than the other pieces of lead. But if I can get everything to stay down, you, you can push back here. The factory has glued this area mm -hmm. and it's pretty strong. So whenever you need something to go, never get towards the front, but you can always push back here, okay. apply a little bit of pressure if you need to. And there, fits this time. Wish I'd have done that the first time. Okay, now I pushed it back up a little bit. It should be nice and flush. That's making sure it's, it's flat and it's pushed up. You don't have to go any further than flush. Okay. And, and again, it can stick out a little bit. It's okay. All right, so that is ready for epoxy? It's, it's ready for the tape for the back and then epoxy. I'll do the tape right now. Okay. 